It's all around us. It penetrates us. It's what gives physicists their power. It's the, it's multiverse. the multiverse! Hey, Big Bang Gang. Trace here for DNews. When it comes to physics, there's not a lot of daily advancement. But when something big happens, it's usually really big. And the latest data is challenging some of the basic assumptions made by physicists all over the world. Thanks to the Planck satellite launched in 2009 to seek out all the radiation left over after the Big Bang, we know that the universe is 13.8 billion years old, which is a little older than we thought prior to that satellite's launch. We've also confirmed the inflation theory, which essentially says the universe started very small and it quickly expanded in a very short amount of time, and it's expanding at a constant rate. But there's also a bit of Planck data that we don't even understand. It pushes what we know to the limits. There's a problem with the inflation theory. See, in order to make the hypothesis work, the scientists say we have to accept that the split second of expansion at the Big Bang stopped in our universe, but not in other universes. Essentially what this means is there are infinitely many universes that are infinitely large. The multiverse. Yeah, our universe is not alone. I'll just let that sink in for a moment. This is all still a theory, so there's a debate on how the multiverse works, and that's what has physicists so excited. Copernicus was an ancient astronomer who is famous for saying the Earth was not the center of the solar system, but instead it was the Sun. Using his name, physicists are calling this a Copernican revolution, as they're beginning to think that our universe is not the center of it all, but instead it's a member of the multiverse. As satellites look deeper and deeper into space, their argument says they will see past the end of our universe. And instead, they'll see many other universes with the same laws of physics but completely different systems and structures. Another debate in this Copernican revolution claims that those infinite universes will have different laws of physics and therefore dramatically different designs and structures. Who's right? We have no idea. But we're standing on the edge looking into the blackness that is not just outside of our solar system or our galaxy or our galactic neighborhood but all 10 to the 22nd stars in all the galaxies and all the parts of our universe and infinitely many others. See why they're excited? What do you think of this theory? Does it make your head hurt or are you totally on board? Oh, FYI, like space, the internet is always changing and we're moving too. D News is now on the Test Tube Network so we can put all your science and curiosity and inspirationally awesome videos in one fantastic place. And if you're looking for a new show, try out Distort. These guys got a super awesome new high speed camera and they're gonna explore the world around us from a whole new perspective. Check it out, it's super cool. Thanks a lot for watching D News everybody, I'm Trace. Catch you later.